Hey everyone, my name is Shrew Manchu. I'm a recently sponsored player for Persona Gaming. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, uh, there was a secret sponsorship that no one else knew about except me. And of course, I won because I was the only one who entered. And uh, yeah, so I'm happy to be here. Anyway, no I'm not. Uh, my name is Tommy and I've got some gameplay here of the M16 on Afghan. Strangely enough, Afghan and Wasteland are my most common gameplay maps and... Honestly, I don't think they're that great. Afghan's alright, but... My favourite rap is actually Skid Row, and I barely get any gameplays on Skid Row, so... I'm not really sure why I like it, I just do... Maybe the, the buildings, environments, you can use... Shotguns and riot shields and all that good stuff, and... Here I'm using the M16 with Thumper Secondary. Uh, Scavenger Danger Close and Sit Rep Pro. Well, they're all pro. Um, this one's pretty old, actually, this gameplay. I, I can't remember much of it, and... I think I'm using the counter UAV, the airstrike, and the pavlo. The idea is that counter UAV is pretty easy to get to, it's only a 4 kill streak. Uh, airstrike, when you've got the counter UAV up, it sort of becomes like a stealth bomber because they can't see it coming on the map, obviously. Uh, not that it's anywhere near as good as a stealth bomber, but you know what I'm saying. And I don't think it's that great on Afghan because it's not a very linear map like Wasteland where an airstrike is really good, or sub base, but. It's, it's not bad, and it can get you to the Pavlo sometimes. And Pavlo is always good to have, it just gets you loads and loads of kills. I think this was before it got patched actually. And if you didn't know, the Pavlo used to be glitched where you. It wouldn't count towards kill streaks. So, like, if I had Pavlo and EMP, I couldn't just, like, wait for the Pavlo to get me the EMP. Or, no, wait. It, it would, as long as you didn't die, or, or something, or. Or if your name began with J, or some bullshit. Like, just some weird glitch that didn't really make any sense that, um... But I think it's all fixed now, so... You know, give it a go. And I'm um, using the M16 with holographic because apparently the holographic is much more accurate than the... The red dot on the M16. Um, I think Blame Truth put up a video showing that the accuracy is... Different just for the M16. I'm not sure about other guns, just... Uh, thumper across the map. And if you were to ask me the difference between the M16 and the FAMAS, I would tell you that there is no difference except for the name, because honestly, I can't see any difference. I mean, I guess, if you look closely enough, there's going to be really tiny differences like the the time in between shots or the, the reload time. But to me, they're so insignificant that they may as well be the same gun, so pick either one you like. I guess I don't use either of them that, that much, actually, because I'm not a big fan of the the burst weapons. Reason is because when you're in close combat like this, um, especially if you don't stop and power, you probably lose most close combat situations because obviously there's a delay between the bullets. And yes, it can one burst. Um, you know that's obviously the advantage. It's very good at conserving ammo because you're only bursting like one burst at a time, and you're likely to get you know very accurate shots. But then again, when you're at close range and there's a guy like hip firing you with a a Tile 21, you're probably going to lose, because you only get one burst, and you have to wait for the next one, so on and so forth. So, that's the price you pay, and I guess Thumpers is a bad choice for that reason alone. But if you stay back, and you've got a big wide open map like Afghan, it does work pretty well. So. Scavenger's the obvious choice with um, Thumpers. Not so much for the M16, because it just really doesn't need it. It's my opinion. You may think differently, but, you know... And Thumpers, although they are similar to grenade launchers in the way they fire, I think they're definitely, um, you know, I'd say they're hard to use, but I guess the comments going to be full of... Comments section will be full of people complaining, I know. Not that I care. <laughs> Complain all you want. But, yeah, I think um, any explosive, you know, Thumpers 84 RPGs, pretty good on Afghan because of all these little, uh, the little caves and the bunkers and all that stuff. You get a lot, even those guys there, my teammates, say, um, say a, they with the other team must come up behind them. Bang, they're all dead. By the way, headshot across the map. Um, it's just convenient to have explosives of some kind. Any explosive, Semtex, Frag, whatever. Anyways, moving on. Um, so, for anyone who doesn't know who I am, I've been a part of Persona Gaming pretty much since the start. And I'm sorry I don't post that much, I, I know I should probably post more here, but... Uh, we do have a lot of people here, so I guess it's kind of spread out across a lot of people. And also I've got my own channel and um, Machine of Respawn to post to as well, so... I don't really have that many gameplays to go around, if you know what I'm saying, but... I do try and post to occasionally, I'm not just going to abandon the channel. Um, 
But, you know, the channel has been pretty stagnant recently because we've all had exams, even the moderators had exams. So that's why we haven't been posting much, so apologies for that, uh, loyal Persona Gaming subscribers. We are back up and running again now, I think, so hopefully all the sponsor players and all the members, I'm not really sure what the difference is, but, you know, all the people who are part of the channel will start posting again, so look forward to more awesome gameplays, if you, if you like, if you call them awesome, that's your opinion. On COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, World at War. Um, let me know what you want to see most. I guess a lot of the other sponsor players will be going back to COD 4 and World at War because they get frustrated with Modern Warfare 2. And to a certain extent I do, but, you know, I still play it quite a lot, Modern Warfare 2. But whatever, you know, your choice. Um, I think we're pretty much open for requests. Uh, we will listen to, or I guess read is the right word, comments and messages and all that stuff. So if you do have suggestions of... What sort of gameplay will we upload to this channel? I mean, not just Call of Duty, I mean... I think we've had some Red Dead Redemption, some, um... What else have we had? Battlefield Bad Company 2. So, give us suggestions on what you want to see, because... I think I speak for everyone when I say... That it would be good to know what our viewers want to see. And I can't speak for the other guys, because I don't know what games they have, but... I know I have three most recent Call of Duty games. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2. I don't know what else is... Um, expected on this channel, or wanted, but... You know, just let us know, like I said. Our video's at the end here, guys. Uh, the final score is 27-3. and 3. Hope you enjoyed this little M16 setup here. I, like I said, don't use it that often, but there we go, and goodbye.